नमस्कार टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्लोबल रिसेशन बिकॉज सैटन टुडे इज फॉलोइंग बैक इन दाइन कैप्रिकॉन एज ए फॉलन प्लेनेट एंड आई वॉन्ट इट एक्सप्लेन ऑन माई वेबसाइट that a fallen planet can be compared to a car going up the hill when it loses motion it retrogrades back it moves back and it is without brakes and it falls from height and the planet significations are afflicted and it is most venomous that planet becomes most venomous at the time of saturn joining capricorn from aquarius the sign rising is libra and it is happening today the 12th of july at 1450 hours and saturn will be in the fourth house and it will aspect the lagna the lagna is libra a shishode lagna and a day strong lagna that shows the quantum of the things will be very very big and it is aspected by it is influenced the lagna is influenced by three malefics it has got ketu very close to the lagna degrees it is aspected by mars from the 7th house and it is aspected by fallen saturn from the 4th house 4th house shows your happiness and the general flow of money and saturn aspects the 6th house where jupiter is placed rogrin ripu and the day lord is mars which is ill placed from the 8th house and 8th lord venus lagna lord is placed in the 8th house it is the graces it is placed in its own house but all the same it is ill placed the 8th house 8th lord is ill placed from the day lord and the day lord is afflicted since it is with rahu and ketu and was being aspected by saturn also so the day lord is afflicted badly and mars is also the hora lord and at the junction the hora is about to change at 1452 hours it is extremely bad whenever there is a junction of hora it is very bad and as per the yama chart saturn which is in the sign capricorn is has gone in the sign of pisces where it is aspecting so it is very bad my dear friends this transit is not going to be good in any respect the fourth house is happiness and the flow of money this will be badly influenced and since saturn aspects jupiter which is karka for wealth and finances there will be a global recession and the general condition of the people will not be good because the lagna is affected badly and the quantum of things will be very strong it will be very big the quantum will be big because the day <coughs> the sign rising is libra shir so day and a day strong and it is influenced by malefics and libra sign is also a malefic as it is a odd sign so troubles will be experienced there is no benefic aspect on the lagna so friends it is not good at all the transit this transit is not good at all and let me tell you all my prediction made on the have it from range the the problems to head of the countries i had mentioned already that when saturn is is in aquarius and about to come in capricorn it will influence the head of the countries so it has influenced uk it has influenced as far as the state is concerned in maharashtra whatever prediction were made by me for maharashtra they have proved spot on and uh, sri lanka uk i had also made prediction for uk and then see what all is happening the number of countries will go in recession and in the 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 eclipse is taking place on the 8th november which starts influencing much before and we have to take into consideration in bharani star which is northeast direction of india and sikkim tibet bhutan <coughs> china will all be influenced we have planetary positions are most malefic especially after the 28th of 
from 12th of July today, then 28th of July, then 24th of September, then 16th of September, 8th of November, 22nd of January, and then 23rd April 2023 also. So friends, we are heading for a big recession. Not a single astrologer has used the chakras. Till you use the chakras, you cannot do any predictions and they have no base. The Veda between Mars and Saturn in the Kurma, sorry, in the Rashi Sangata Chakar and Nakshatra Sangata Chakar are most important. Even if Mars and Saturn are aspecting each other, that aspect has to be confirmed in the Rashi or Nakshatra Sangata Chakar. Unfortunately, now the, the Veda between Mars and Saturn is taking place simultaneously after Mars joins the Mrigshira star. There will be Veda between because both Mars and Saturn will be in the Nakshatra of Mars. Mars will be in Mrigshira Nakshatra, Saturn will be in Dhanishtra Nakshatra, the 5th and the 23rd. And if you see in the Nakshatra Sangata Chakra, there is Veda between the two. And this Veda will start from 24th of September till 3rd of December. Then Mars will come in Rohini and Rohini star is still there is affliction to Rohini star even then it is very bad for the world. So three events are most important. Natural unnatural events, war between the countries and then the global recession. When we talk about natural unnatural events we can have, we can experience, I have already predicted an earthquake of intensity maybe just parallel like Bhuj and Latur and it will be in the northeast part of India, right? And <clears throat> whatever predictions are made, they have proved as far as Maharashtra is concerned, as far as havoc from rain is concerned, you pull out anything, I write on Facebook every day and whatever predictions have been made, they prove spot on. I made more than 1800 predictions and self-praise is no recommendation, but I'll tell you, my predictions are more than 96% which are proved correct. So anyway, let us move on. I have written uh, this article. This article I have written, Global Recession Fears, Major Economy Heads for Recession as Saturn Falls and Aspect Rahu and Ketu. You see, whenever Rahu, when there are three parameters. One is that whenever Saturn makes a contact with Jupiter and then Rahu Ketu, then it is a time for recession. Whenever Mars and Saturn, they have Veda between themselves, that in, then it is a time for natural and unnatural calamities and war, terrorism. Now all this has started to happen from the 12th of July. And then if you look at the lunation charts of the 28th July, 26th September, 16th October, 8th November, and then 22nd January, and then the eclipse of the April May 2023, you will come to, you will boil down the things that there is going to be a global recession and which will last for two years. Sometimes back, the president of World Bank in his statement has mentioned that due to the rise in inflation, there may be global recession for the coming two years. And I agree, as I mentioned, till <coughs> certain aspects, Rahu and Jupiter, even after 23, it is going to last till 2024. And then again, in 2025, Saturn will join Rahu. And then we have to see when uh, when Saturn uh, joins Rahu and Saturn will be in Pisces. From Pisces, the third aspect will be on Taurus. And in when Jupiter goes in Taurus, again there is going to be recession. So this recession is going to last for a very long time. My dear friends, not even a single astrologer has talked about it. 
so it may there is the recession may go past 2025 and it may be something parallel to the great recession where what was there at the time of dot com bubble uh, then uh, at the time of harshad mehta uh, april 1992 then uh, uh, similar to uh, march 19 uh, 2020 uh, uh, when we had the covid the break of the covid and then uh, uh, 1982 in 1982 we had the uh, recession in uh, us and then so many if you compare all of them you see the parameters are parallel now it has been observed in the past that the benefits in fiery sign and aspecting the fiery signs are responsible for the recession the target of rahu in aries with mars has already set the trend and added the mars has joining has added the fuel to the fire mars transit from aries to gemini will also be responsible apart from saturn the main planet for mandi in hindi in hindi you see what is recession it is mandi and saturn is also named as month because it delays denies and destroys so it is also responsible for the recession jatak parijat has also already, already mentioned in the classic indicates that the saturn is responsible for all the above combination we have parallel planned the positions like the 12th july uh, uh, like the 12th july 2020 Uh, two onwards at the time of great recession uh, uh, and in on the 29th october 1929 harshad mehta scam april 1992 dot com bubble burst on the 11th march 2000 and then at the time of covid 19 in march 2020 cryptocurrencies i also see a crash in the cryptocurrencies in the time frame mentioned in this article from 12th july to 18th january 2023 saturn is the lord of the 10th and the 11th house of the natural zodiac will fall in the sign capricorn the 10th house today <coughs> on the 12th july 2020 1450 hours just from uh, some uh, some minutes maybe 30 40 minutes from now the state of saturn is called fallen state and is most venomous a fallen planet is like a car going up the hill and it loses motion it reverses without brakes and falls from height so and such a planet will you see the significations will be afflicted and it will become most malefic and destroy all these significations <clears throat> saturn in the present in the sign aquarius where it joined on the 29th april 2022 and went in retrogression on the 5th june 2022 and now today falls back in capricorn i have already predicted uh, the outcome of the saturn in the in this state but the uh, but in this article i am going to concentrate my prediction on the global recession since it will aspect both the rahu ketu on 12th july and also aspect jupiter who is who significates who uh, signifies wealth and finances apart from the global global recession saturn will also activate wars earthquakes disasters natural calamities the brawl between the nations will take ugly dimension and all this has been predicted in my articles now the chart is of libra lagna at the time of the saturn falling in capricorn and it is in the fourth house the sign libra is a shirshode sign and a day strong sign and malefics all the four malefics are influencing the lagna so as now since the lagna is shirshode and day strong the quantum of things will be very strong so whatever happens will be very strong so why because all the malefics are influencing and the day lord is afflicted the affliction to the day lord mars is very bad and also in the hora of mars and at the junction at 1452 the hora will change to venus sorry the hora will change to to sun so so uh, so again it is not good and 
Saturn in the Yama chart is placed in the in the Yama of Pisces, where Jupiter, the sixth lord, is placed and the Karka for finances and wealth. So it is not good. That means from till the time Saturn goes to Pisces, the recession will continue. And even after going in Pisces, the recession may continue when there is there are combinations when it will aspect Jupiter in Taurus in the eighth house. So, so friends, this chart is most enigmatic, and uh, the I have already mentioned the star is Mula and the Lord is Ketu. It is uh, tikshan, drawn, ferocious, and bitter. And we let me remind you that the solar uh, the solar eclipse of the 26th December 2019 took place in the star of Mula and we had the uh, COVID-19. Now the star is in Mula when uh, Saturn is moving, is falling back in Capricorn and it is aspecting the sixth house. Mind you, it will also be responsible for the diseases and virus. So, <clears throat> So it is not good and in the, the Lord is Ketu which is placed in the Lagna and 17 axis Rahu Ketu means that there will be the country and in general will suffer from diseases and virus. Since and Ketu is at the Lagna degrees, it is extremely bad and when Mars also reached those degrees somewhere in August after the 1st August, maybe 5th August, it will be prone to all those things. And mind you, Saturn will also be out at those degrees and it will be around the 28th July to 10th of August and 1st July to 5th July will be 1st July to 1st, 1st, 1st August to 5th August will be most crucial. The Tithi is, is uh, Chaturdashi 14 or Rikta Tithi which signifies wealth and Riktam Tithi is very bad for wealth. The Karna is Jupiter and afflicted by fallen Saturn. And Karna Lord is Jupiter and it aspects the 10th house. So the significations of Jupiter will also be afflicted. Most malefic combination, the day Lord is ill placed from the 8th house and 8th Lord Venus. So whatever the quantum of things which is going to take place, it shows that since Saturn is the 10th Lord, of the natural zodiac, it is also aspecting the 10th house, the longevity of the tenure of people at the head of in the head of the countries will be influenced adversely. And we have seen already Boris Johnson where I had already predicted that the head of the countries and head of the states will change. All my predictions are proving spot on. You see Sri Lanka, you see UK, then you see Maharashtra. Now, a number of Events will take place as far as the head of the countries and head of the states would see. You see note my predictions. So, the Libra sign is rising and the ascendant is strong. The Lagna Lord is in Taurus in the eighth house, add fuel to the fire, but the grace is it is placed in its own sign. The 8th November 2022 lunar eclipse will also take place at 22 degrees in the seventh house in the sign Aries in the Bharani star which will be activated by Mars in the lunation chart on the 28th of July 2022. So mind you after 28th July 2022 it is a time which is prone most prone to untoward happenings together with the global recession. Hence starting from 12th July and then 28th July will be most prone for the globe in general. To all this, the lunation chart of the 26th September 2022 will add fuel to the fire and global recession which will be activated after the 12th uh, will explode, will take an ugly dimension as can be seen through the Rashi and Nakshatra Sangata Chakar and the Kurma Chakar which indicates the recession in the eastern European countries and northeastern part of India, there could be untoward happenings, maybe an earthquake, maybe uh, the countries may be at war, especially uh, China will be at war with Taiwan, China can be at war with India. So all this uh, affliction to the fourth house by fallen Saturn will also will 
नॉट ग्रांट हैप्पीनेस एंड फ्लो ऑफ लिक्विड फंड्स एंड एस्पेक्ट दी लग्ना दी लग्ना इज जनरल कंडीशन ऑफ द कंट्री एंड सिंस केतु एंड राहू आर ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंसिंग दंस एंड मैक्सिस देर मे बी एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन फॉर वायरस डिजीजेज अर्थक्वेक नेचुरल अन नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स ऑफ डायमेंशन एंड बॉर्ड लाइक कंडीशन इन द वर्ल्ड एज द इन द राशियन नक्षत्र संघटा चक्कर आफ्टर द ट्वेंटी फोर सेप्टेंबर देर इज वेदा बिटवीन मार्ग एंड सैट एंड इन द राशि संघटा चक्कर जुपिटर इज एफ्लिक्टेड बाय राहू द भारणी स्टार फॉल इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कूर्मा चक्कर एंड हेंस दी अब डायरेक्शन विल बी इन्फ्लुएंस द मोस्ट हेंस नेपाल सिक्किम भूटान भूटान अरुणाचल प्रदेश तिब्बत चाइना बर्मा मे कम अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ फ्लड हैवेक फ्रॉम रेन्स अर्थक्वेक्स और डायमेंशन में मे ऑल्सो बी इन्वॉल्व इन वॉर लाइक कंडीशन फाइनेंशियल ब्रेक्स डाउन एंड इकोनॉमी क्रैश इज नॉट रूल्ड आउट so we have already talked that the eastern europe the countries which are prone to the recession are india india pakistan ukraine sri lanka uh, what do you call sri lanka then russia and china and the us now see what is what is predicted by me in in uh, in the article most important text here in the rashiya nakshatra sangatha chakar there is veda now see what is predicted by me let me pull out the text uh, in this article written on the 23rd june 2022 well in advance the transit of mars in aries from 27 june to 10th august has already been discussed in my previous articles and needless to mention that the strong angara yog is formed in the fiery sign aries by rahu and mars and uranus and can give most explosive results the transit of mars in taurus in rohini and mrikshara may be explosive as discussed because when mars will be in ex- mrikshara it will be the fifth nakshatra and saturn will be in the 23rd nakshatra so in the in the uh, uh, what do you call the nakshatra sangata chakra there will be veda and whenever there is veda between mars and saturn the time is explosive for the world it may be wars it may be earthquakes it may be terrorism it may be global recession so this is extremely bad not even a single astrologer has discussed the chakras and as per the kurma chakra as i mentioned the north east direction the northern eastern part of europe and the northern eastern part of the world will be influenced adversely in padma puran there is a story of lord dashratha being warned by astrologers that when saturn enters rohini star uh, uh, 10 to 23 degrees in taurus causes devastating war india was involved in war in world war in 1914 1918 1939 1945 at the time and at the time of war in 1971 with pakistan saturn was in rohini star now it has been observed that even malefics rahu ketu and mars in rohini is not good and it has been observed that malefics mars uh, rahu ketu when pass through this arc there is roids blast terrorism war like conditions in the immediate future after the 10th august mars enters the taurus sign mars will ingress in rohini on the 28th august to 24th September 2022 and when it will be in retrogression after the first November and falls back in Rohini uh, on the 23rd December 2022 to 24th February 2023 as the period could be crucial for Mars significations and explosive events happening in the month of May and June 84 there were concentration of planets in Rohini and had aspect of Mars from the sign Libra and Mars and Saturn were conjunct in Libra a blood stained history of punjab is remembered now for war and war like conditions to break mars and saturn veda 
in the chakras is essential for any big event in the country and the globe. Maybe it is natural calamity and global recession. Mars and Saturn must join if they expect of uh, pressure aspect even then they must be examined through these chakras. Most malefic combination for war, earthquake, global recession activation from 12th July 2022 as Saturn falls aspect Jupiter and Ketu and Veda between Mars and Saturn both in the Rashi and Nakshatra Sangata chakra from the 24th September to 3rd December and then again from the 24th February to 15th March as far as the Nakshatra Sangata chakra is concerned. In the lunation chart of the 28th July 2022, Saturn foreign aspect Jupiter, who is in stationary and about to go in retrogression. And this will add fuel to the fire to global events and especially the global recession. The lunation chart of 26 September opens the secret and Venus in depletion will oppose Jupiter in Pisces. The Rashi and Nakshatra Sangata Chakar also indicate warlike conditions in the world and major economy is suffering. This, this may trigger the global recession and war like conditions in the world till the Mars in Chitra start till 3rd December 2022. Then again from 24th February to 13th March. Mars and Saturn Veda in Rashi uh, explosive from 24th as I mentioned. Now uh, Veda between Mars and Saturn in uh, uh, the, the chart is given in my article on my website and then Mar, uh, then uh, there could be uh, during this time there could be an earthquake of intensity, tsunamis, untoward happenings, landslides and whatever uh, uh, terrorist activity in, in, even in Jammu and Kashmir. The Veda between Mars and Saturn in, will be as follows in the Rashi Sangata Chakal. It is clearly, it is mentioned on 16th uh, October 2022, Mars will join Gemini and there will be Veda between Mars and Saturn in the 3610 triangle. So here it says, there it starts from 24th, here it starts from 16th. So even if one is over, the second starts. So it is, and they are overlapping each other. So it is very bad. So that means, uh, after 16th October, the recession will be big. There will also be Veda between Mars and Saturn from the 18th January 2023 to 13th April. Lunation charts. Now the lunation charts have been discussed as I have already discussed. Then, then we come to that even after January 18th January 2023, again Saturn will aspect from Aquarius, it will aspect Rahu and Jupiter will also join there from 23rd of April. So my dear friends, and when Venus opposes it, then that will be the time for fall again. So that clearly means that even if the markets recover after January 2023, there will be a depression like tendencies after the 23rd April and after the lunar eclipse in the May 2023. Please note my predictions. This is what all I just wanted to share uh, with you friends and let me tell you that all my predictions till date have proved spot on and uh, I am really thankful to my guru who has inculcated high skills to me and I am doing working hard for it. So this is all friends. Thank you very much and <clears throat> for watching and listening to me. Have a good day. Bye bye.